Hey, what's up, Shining Otaku? This is your host, Che Baker and Irvin. And today we have a special interview here on Shining Spotlight. It's one that's a little bit different because we're going to have a little bit of interpretation, but we're very excited. We have someone here all the way from the land of the rising sun. He's worked on several works, but was also an artist on a manga for a very famous uh, video game that you all are familiar with, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. He also wants to spread manga teaching far and wide across the world and has a lot of different art you know, and works that he's done. Today, we welcome the renowned and revered Kazuo Mayakawa to the show. Thank you so much for coming on today. Hi. Konnichiwa. Oh, in Japan, it is actually good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. hi. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Like, so right now, for those of you guys who are watching, because this is a recording, you know, it's uh, actually morning. We're recording on our side. And there it's 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 evening in Japan. Um, so, you know, of course, we want to start right into our questions. We want to be able to get into everything. We met you uh, actually a couple months ago or a few months ago in Chicago. Um。あ、シカゴでそういえば2、3ヶ月前に会いましたね、実際に。そうですね。え、すごい楽しい思い出です。It was so much pleasure memory for me as well. Yes, yeah, so one of the things that we want to ask you, you know, just for those of the people out here who are not familiar with um maybe, you know, uh your work or maybe, you know, um you know, they don't know much about uh, you. Can you give a little bit of um, just like an intro on how you got interested or how you got into manga? あ、あの、まだ多蔵さんのことを知らない人に向けてちょっとイントロダクションしてほしいんですけれども、どのようにして漫画の世界に入ったんですかね。どどれ何がきっかけで。はい。うん。漫画はね、小さい時から書こうと
、もうそれからですねデビューしてから25年以上、えー、漫画を描いています。So it has been 25 years since I made myself debut and I have been I kept drawing since then. 今はですね、えー、もともとその逆転裁判のような横に読む漫画ではなくて、縦で読むウェブトゥーンという漫画をの仕事をしています。Okay, so currently I have been working on、um, so Ace Attorney, Ace Attorney, in Ace Attorney Works,、um, it was actually read、um, through, how do I say, the horizontally written, horizontally drawn, but right now, I'm、um, using web, web tool, which is、um, you, you're going to read、um, vertically. Oh, I have been working on web tool works、um, up, to, up to six works, the amount of six works. Oh, wow. And、hmm. what are some of the works?、Uh, どういう作品ですかなんていう作品ですかその6作品はそれはですね、まだタイトルは言えないんですが、えー、バトルものやサスペンスや、えー、ギャグとかですね、いろんなものをやっています。Okay, so I can't actually say what are the titles of the works right now, but they are, the content is battle and actions, mystery and some of the riddles. Oh, that sounds exciting. I'm not sure. 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 Okay, so the working of the webtoon is actually divided into several types of works. So each person has、um, his or her own role, and, and they are working individually to make a、uh, webtoon. And Kazuo's work is actually、um, focusing on name, naming, which means that he's working on the storyboard. And also focusing on creating the layouts. Okay, and how long does it take to usually do a layout, particularly webtoons?、Mm-hmm. Uh, webtoon, the layout, 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 Okay, so usually it takes one week, but since he is used to working on、uh, this kind of work, so it, it will take two days for one work.、Mm. Well, that's when experience kicks in. That makes a lot of sense.、Mm. I was wondering、um, so, what are some of the challenges coming from digital, well, from traditional art to digital going from.、Um, mm-hmm. Paneling out on paper versus going to webtoon. What are some of the major challenges? Okay. So, Kazo san ni tote, so no digital de yaru koto no muzukashi sa っていうのは so no dento de kina ho no so kami de yaru no to so no digital no web jo de yaru no no eh so no iko no muzukashi sa to ka so so no arimashi ta ka ne. Nani ga muzukashi to ka? Eh, boku wa desu ne, digital ni wa desu ne, mo. 30年前ぐらいから憧れていたんですね。えー、30年というのはちょっとオーバーかな。えー、1997年、1997年ですね。えーえーえー、と Windows がですね出始めてですね、もう一般的にパソコンが普及されるようになってからもうデジタルを目指していました。ううん、うんあの難しさとかはありましたかね、その移行する。えーそうですね。あの憧れていたので難しさよりですね、楽しさが勝ってしまってですね、早くデジタル化したいということで、う
、えー、難しいことはなかったですね。あ、OK。So it was not difficult for him because he always wanted to dream that he wanted to do digitally.、Um, so almost 30 years ago, so specifically since 1997,、um, when the time Windows came out in Japan, it was very popular. He always dreamed that he wanted to do digitally. So、uh, that's why he didn't feel that much difficult actually, because、um, he was very happy that his dream became true. <laughs> Been a visionary, it sounds like. Always saw the bigger picture for a long time. Zito a n a k o g a r e t s u t a n e s n e t e y o k o t o d e s s u t e s n e b o k u g a デザインをしている人に会ったときにですね、仕事部屋を見たときにびっくりしたんですね。なぜびっくりしたかというとですね、部屋がすごく綺麗だったんです。もうディスクが一つあって、そこにあのマッキントッシュのですね、マックの、えー、デスクトップが一台置いてあっただけなんですね。それで、えー、デザインの仕事をしていたのを見てですね、すごく憧れて、えー、自分もそんな世界を、えー、仕事部屋にしたいと思っていました。Oh, okay. So when he actually met for the first time who worked on digitally、um, the mangas, he was very surprised because in his office there's only one Macintosh computer and it was so clean and only one desk. So he was very surprised. And so since then,、uh, he wanted to also draw digitally, and that was his dream.、Mm. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Really quick, you know, I just want to show a few pieces I know、um, you had、uh, sent over to me、um, of some of your work for maybe those out there who haven't seen it.、Um, you know, as you can all see on the screen, of course, you know, this is some of,、uh, you know, Mayakawa Sensei's、uh, work right here. You can check out.、Um, you know, I really like that cover right here, especially.、Um, Few other pieces, you know, obviously. Great work, by the way. <laughs> Very strong. <laughs> ah, so he became、uh, the free, freelance, freelance manga teacher in Hawaii. And at that time, he wrote the, he drew, drew those mangas. Okay, okay. Well, speaking of being a manga teacher, I did want to follow up with、um, his plans to spread manga and to go international. So I wanted him to speak a little bit about that. うん、うん、あの和夫さんその漫画の先生ということでちょっとあの聞きたいことがあるんですけどその世界的に漫画をこう広めていくっていう活動についてちょっと教えていただけますかそうですねえー、僕も本当に世界を全然知らなかったのですが、えー、例えばですね、一番最初にスイスに行った時に、たくさんの漫画ファンがいてですね、漫画を描くことでみんな笑顔になるんですね。それを見てですね、いろいろ、えー、世界のことを調べるようになりました。Okay, so、um, at the first time, he didn't know much about international market, but then when he went to Switzerland in 2011, and at that time, he knew that there were so many manga fans across the world,、yeah. and, <laughs> and then manga became、uh, make a lot of people smile, and he was very, very amazed. So, since then, he started to search. Um, the inter- he started to search about the international market of mangas.、うんねまあ uh, uh, ねえー、漫画 a が世界に、ね、いろいろ配信されるようになってです、ね、それぞれ国によってです、ね、人気な漫画が違うということもよく分かりました。Okay, so since the 1990s, so、uh, he found that animes and mangas、uh, went through around the world. And then also he learned that each country has its own preference, like which kind of mangas are more preferred. 
So that's what he also learned. So, this is the second time that I have been in the manga and anime. So, this is the first time that I have been in the manga and anime. So, this is the first time that I have been in the manga and anime. So, this is the first time that I have been in the manga and anime. I also learned that there are so many people who want to draw mangas and to publish a lot of mangas around the world. That's also one of the things that he learned. So, this guy, this one, eh, I was, eh, たまたま旅行でですね、ハワイに行ったときに、そこのハワイ大学の学生が、eh, 私は漫画が好きだけど、どうやったら漫画家になれるか。Also later on, I went to Hawaii, Hawaii for the for for the traveling, and then one of the university students in Hawaii University asked me, "I really like mangas, but how can I start and how can I draw mangas?" その時にですね、あ、ハワイにも漫画を描きたい人がいるんだとちょっと驚いたんですね。なぜならあのハワイというのはリゾートな場所で、えー、そういう考えの子がいるとは思わなかったんです。あ、oh,、and at that time I was really surprised that there was someone who wants to draw mangas in Hawaii because my image of Hawaii is just for the resort. So <laughs> I was really surprised. That's why... mm. Yeah, I've I've heard that before that uh. That Hawaii has a big uh, uh, manga and、uh, anime fan base. I have a, a friend who、uh, lives in Hawaii,、um, so it's interesting. You say that I've never been to Hawaii myself, but、um, you know, I do know that they have、um, a lot of、uh, like anime conventions、yeah. and that sort of thing there. あなんかアルビンさん自身はハワイに行ったことがないみたいなんですけどでもハワイにはそういうなんか漫画が大好きな人がたくさんいてそしてその漫画の会議とかそういうのもあるって聞いたことがあります。うん、そうですね。ハワイにはカワイイコンって言ってですね、えー、そういうイベントがあります。僕も全然知らなかったんですが、そういうカワイイコンやですね、えー、漫画のイベントがたくさんあります。えー、そういうのを知ってですね、あだなハワイで僕が住んでですね、みんなに教え、漫画をあのワークショップをやったら面白いんじゃないかということでですね、えー、ハワイに4年間住んでいました。Okay. Yes, as you said that、um, in Hawaii there is big,、uh, big fan of、uh, mangas, and then there is the event called Kawaii Con,、mm. and、um, and even him he didn't know about such existence of those kind of events and fans, but then. He realized that there are a lot of fans, manga fans in Hawaii. So he decided to stay in Hawaii, lived in Hawaii for four years, and worked on workshops. Wow! Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so I guess technically,、um, you know,、uh, even though I would say to the the main part of the United States,、um, you know, I think coming to Chicago was, you know, it was your first time coming to like I'm gonna say the the forty eight. I guess states or whatever you'd want to call it, but、um, Hawaii was really your first experience in the United States. Then, am I correct or am I wrong? あの風さんその四十八州ある中でまあだいたいあのアメリカであのハワイが一番最初に体験したあのアメリカでのその活動ですかね。それでそうですね。はい。え漫画の活動としてはハワイが初めてです。でも旅行としてはですね、うんえー、ラスベガスやあのー、サンフランシスコとかね、うん、LA とか行きました。うん、えっ、ー、とラスベガスではですね、あでもラスベガスで、えー、漫画の取材で行ったんですね。え、ね、そあのー、それはジャッキーチェンに会うジャッキーチェンに会ってジャッキーチェンの漫画の宣伝をあじゃあ,あジャッキーチェンの映画の宣伝を漫画にしようという企画で。ラスベガスにジャッキーチェンに会いに行きました。それが初めてかもしれないですね。実際にジャッキーチェンに会ったんですか？あ、会いました会いました。あ、あ、Okay, so Irvin, <笑> so what he was saying is that um it was actually um Hawaii where he um for the first time started working on the mangas workshops, but 
also he went to Las Vegas, San Francisco, and LA for for the traveling. And for the Las Vegas, he, the reason why he went there is to meet Jackie Chan, because oh. he had a mission to produce Jackie Chan's movie into mangas. So. Oh. That's, yeah, that's why he went to Las Vegas, and he actually met Jackie Chan. Oh wow, that's really that's that's, that's outstanding. <laughs> yeah, that's really that's nice. Exclusive. <laughs> I, I like that story. <laughs> yeah, I, that's pretty cool. You know. So, what was um, that experience like? Uh, meeting Jackie Chan, transferring from a live action movie <laughs> to a manga. How was that? カズさんそのあのジャッキーちゃんに会ってそのジャッキーちゃんのあの映画を漫画にするそれどういう経験でしたかどうでしたか。それね、あの上海ヌーンってやつやってるんですね。上海ヌーンがで、え、それの宣
I guess while we're on the subject of, I guess, you know, not only collaboration, but I'm going to say influence, you know, inspiration, especially when it comes to United States, you know, um, I'm curious, what is your um, opinions on um, original English language manga um, or some also call it um, manga inspired comics? You know, they're not made by, let's say, you know, um, you know, uh, uh, Japanese um, um, creators, but instead made by people who are abroad from Japan. What is your opinion on 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 um, a lot of those type of works, or are you familiar with any of those kind of works? うん。あの、カズオさん、あの、よく一部の人が OL漫画、オイル漫画っていうのは初めて聞いたんですね。で、Okay, so uh, actually it was his first time to hear the word OL comics, original English language mangas, but so he researched on it and then he was actually thought he, he he thought that it is really good thing like each country um can produce and each region can produce th its own original mangas which was inspired by mangas so uh, in his opinion it is great thing so not only in english but also in philippine or african regions they can produce their own comic books inspired by mangas. So he is supportive for that. I love that. And um, I wonder what advice would he give us of uh, those who want to create manga inspired works? Like what would be some good advice for your like students, mm -hmm. future creators in general? そういろんな国の人たち、いろんな国のえ、え、
Okay, so his advice to future comic writers is that they don't have to imitate Japanese mangas. Um, they can create their own original mangas according to their culture, according to their preferences. But what they can learn from Japanese mangas is uh, paneling, layouts, and how to structure how to make the structure of mangas. Those, those are the things that they can learn from Japanese mangas. But what he really believes is that um, each region and each country or each um, group of people can produce their own preferences and their, they can produce their own preferred mangas. So that's what he believes. And also, um, for the Japanese mangas, there, there are a lot of martial arts related mangas, but not only those of them, they can also, uh, future comic writers can produce uh, their own world and their own preferred uh, works. Nice, nice, nice. I really like that, you know, and I just have Thank to you. say this, like, and I know we said this, um, you know, when we, of course, when we met you, but like, you know, um, like our teacher, uh, Mark Dudley, he talks about that same oh, stuff like, the time. all the time. So like, <laughs> we we appreciate that. Like, I think, and now this is something I want the audience, I want all of you out there to be able to hear when you're when you're taking in what he's saying. Um, any of you guys out there who do original English language manga, it's important to try to tell your own story. You know, I know that we all like, um, Dragon Ball. We all like Naruto. You know, Naruto, Bleach, Demon Slayer. You know, um, um, you know, maybe um, you know, My Hero Academia. All those different stories. But pull from your own experience, you know, and tell a story from your own experience. You know, it it may feel weird at first, but that's so important. So I just want the audience, you know, all of you out there who are watching, to take in the words of. Um, uh, Mayakawa Sensei and what he's saying, you know, it's it's, it's very important for those of you who will want to create your own. Now, very briefly, I want to go ahead and just, you know, make a couple quick announcements, then we're going to get to the last half of this interview. Um, so with that being said, um, I'll give you a moment to at least let Mayakawa Sensei know, you know, what we're about to do. So that way he's not caught off guard. And then I'm going to go <laughs> ahead and go to the quick announcements, and then we'll get into the last half of the interview. あ、ちょっと風さんなんかこれからアナウンスメントがあるみたいでなんかあのこの聞いてる人たちなんかちょっとしたいみたいなんでそれが終わってからもう一回ちょっとあのインタビューに戻ろうと思っていますということです。オッ
。で、和夫さん、ちょっともう一度あの質問があるんですけれど、その漫画にインスパイアされたコミックを書いてる人たちに、ちょっとあの、教えたいこととして、その、和夫さんがいつも編集者と、編集者の方と働くっていうのは、どういう、あの活動ですかねどういうプロセスですかねどういうプロセスで編集者の方と働いていらっしゃいますかはいえー、とですねもうプロの漫画家として私はまあ活動、うん、しているわけなんですが、えー、編集者がいないと成り立たないんですねこれはあの出版社としてはやっぱりビジネスなので売れる漫画を作るためには、えー、編集の人たちとですね一緒に組んでですねでそれで仕事をしていかないといけないと思っています。Okay, so、um, even though I am a professional manga artist, but without editors,、うん、I can't make and I can't produce、um, profitable mangas. So、um, the existence of editors is inevitable.、うん、日本の漫画というのはですね、でも漫画はビジネスになっています。えー、例えばですね、えー、漫画家、プロの漫画家というのは出版社と協力して漫画を作っていきます。また別のやり方としては、自分たちで漫画を作って自分たちで売るという方法もあります。えー、最初に言ったですね、えー、出版社と、えー、一緒に仕事をするということは、漫画を売るためにいろんなことを考えていかなくてはいけないです。自分の、ね、好き勝手で漫画を描いていっても売れる作品になるとは限らないのでえどうやったらえ売れるのかどのようにです、ね、えみんなに読んでもらうのかっていうのをです、ね、研究しながら漫画を作っていきます、えー、その次にです、ね、自分たちで、えー、漫画を作って自分たちで売るっていうのは自分の好きなように漫画を描いていいですその代わり売れるかどうかはわからないそういうビジネスの違いがありますね Okay, so in general, Japanese mangas are tied with the business. So there are two types of、uh, works in manga industry. One is to work with publishers, manga, com- manga writers work with publishers. And the other one is just to work and draw mangas by yourself. So for the first way to work with publisher, it means that editors. Are usually the one who think how、uh, those mangas can be profitable and how can those mangas be hot selling mangas. So,、um, in, order to, uh, in order to make manga works as business, then editors' existence of editors is much in- inevitable. So, it is different from just to work and just to draw by yourself freely. So, that's something different、uh, when, when, when you work with editors and work with publishers.、Hmm. Okay. So, the first thing is that 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 the first thing is この日までに仕事をしてくださいというのがすごくよく分かってですね、その日までに仕事を仕上げる。でもですね、自分たちで漫画を描くとですね、締め切りがなかったりするので、いつまでも作品が仕上がらなかったりするんですね。なので、プロフェッショナルな仕事をするには、やっぱり管理者やですね、一緒に仕事をしてくれる仲間として、編集者はとても大事なものです。Okay. So in short,、um... <笑> Editors are usually、um, scheduling and man- managing the manga writers. So、um, there are a lot of deadlines that manga writers have to commit, and there are a lot of rules that they, they can follow, manga writers can follow. But through doing so, it's going to be profitable manga business. So it is different from, 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 from the situation where you. Where you draw f- freely as you like.、Um, yeah, that's the difference. And so he believes that、um, in order to produce profitable mangas、um, and to make it successful, you need to work with publishers and editors.
Mm, that makes perfect sense. And I was just wondering, how many people usually consist of a team um, to create a manga? あ、かずさんそれそれすごいあの、分かりやすかったです。で、あの、大体どういう、どれぐらいのチームでいつも何人ぐらいのチームでその一つの漫画を書くときにあの、働くんでしょうか。えっとですね、通常はですね、1対1
っていうふうに覚えてるらしいんですけど、そう,そうですあ,あ,、うん、あれはですね、そうじゃない、あのー、そうですね、えー、デスノート、絵を描いてる人はもう漫画家ですね、はい、シナリオライターももともと漫画家だったんですね。あそ,ういうことねねそして、うんあのー、大場つぐみ先生、えー、これちょっと悪い言い方をすると、うん、あまり絵,に絵がちょっと。コミカルな感じだったので、デスノートのようなあの難しい漫画を表現するにはちょっと力不足だったのかもしれない、ちょっと言い方悪いですけどね、あでもああのそうです、ね、シナリオの方にすごく力を入れられたので、もともと漫画家がシナリオを描いたんですね、あねデスノートの場合は。そして絵が上手い、えー、漫画家そういうコラボの仕方はよくあります。あ,あ、わかりました。Okay, so Irvin,、um, you're right. So for the Death Note, there were one person who is going to do the scenario writing, and the other person is going to draw. So concentrating on mangas, like drawing actual mangas. So it is.、Um, A、uh, very common case that one person is going to focus on scenario, plotting, plotting, making plots, and then the other person is focusing on the drawing. And so, for the Death Note, one person who actually、um, made the plot,、uh, sh- he was not that much good at、uh, producing and drawing sort of Death Note.、Um, <laughs> How do I say the sense? Like a very ho- horror and, and like not the co- comical ones. So that's why the other person、uh, decided to focus on the drawing who could produce more、uh, the specific sense of, of the Death Note world. Yeah, and get the temperature、mm-hmm. of, the, of the story.、Yeah. They were able to、yeah. gauge、yeah. the gauge.、Yeah. Okay, okay. That makes, that makes perfect sense. はい、漫画家はですね、えー、漫画ばっかりじゃなくてですねあの、自分の得意なものをやっていくということで、シナリオを書きたい人に、もともと漫画家がシナリオになったりですね、えー、絵だけを描くっていうことをやっていきます。それぞれのいいところでコラボレーションしていくっていうのが、えー、いい漫画の、うん、作品を作る上で、えー、いいコラボレーションになると思っています。あ okay. そして僕もあのネームを書くのがすごく得意なので、今はネーム、ネーミングの仕事をしています。Okay. So what he believes is that each person should work on something that he is good at it. So, for instance, Kazuo is very good at doing naming,、uh, which is paneling and thinking about the layouts. So that's what he is focusing on when he works on mangas. And so each person has its own preference and something good at. So、mm-hmm. he believes that each person has its own role when it、mm-hmm. comes to making this one work. Mm, okay, that makes sense. And I'm curious about his personal artistic process. Like, what does it look like for him to, you know, go for the process? Go. I know, Kazo san, ja, kondo wa Kazo san jishin no, so no manga no, skuru toki no process, o kiki tai des kere do mo, do you, I know, ho shiki de, Kazo san wa ga yat ten des kane, kai te rash shun des kane. これはねど、どこまで最初から<笑>お話を聞きたいのか、えー、どうなんでしょうね、今やってる、えー、ネーミングの作り方とか。あ、あ、そう、シェイ、あ、he wants to ask you、um,、do you want to hear from the scratch、like、how he produced his own work、or do you want to hear more focusing on、uh, naming、paneling、layouts。Hmm, that's a good question.、Uh, let's start、mm-hmm. with how he does his own work first,、mm-hmm. his own personal process. Personal process for the paneling, right? Yes.、Mm-hmm. Yes. Just the session, I know, I'm a yatter, I know. I'm a yatter, 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 I'm a
まずね、朝ね、早く起きて、えー、ファミリーレストランに行くんですね。<笑>そこでですね、もう集中して、えー、下書きをずっと進んでいく、えー。ネーミングの下書きですね、プロットを作っていくんですね。それができると、家に帰ってきてパソコンで仕事をしてですね、えー、夜までに完成させます。だから早ければ1日で終わる仕事です。Okay. 集中力が、集中力がすごく重要になってきます。<笑> okay, so every week he receives the scenario, the plot from the publisher. So every morning he goes to diner、um, near, near, his, near his house and then、um, through scenario, through the plot, he produced draft of the name. Like the paneling, and then after that, he came back home, and then he's working on the final version of the naming, so the paneling. So, usually, he finished a one scenario or plot in a day,、mm. so he needs a lot of attention and concentrations every single day. Okay. That makes sense, especially as an artist myself.、Um, I can, it's very hard when you're distracted by the outside world. Sometimes you have to find your like, sweet spot in order to kind of work consistently. So I can see that. So, actually, that it brings my next question. Before I get into that, though, we are coming down, and I want to let everybody know in the last, like, say, 10 minutes or so. So, we're getting to wrap up here soon. But You know, of course, we still have a couple questions left, you know, really big ones that I think、um, a lot of people want to know about. So,、um, on the outside perspective, you know, a lot of people in the States, you know, from whether it be、uh, fans or it be creators, always、um, talk about the, um, the uh, creative um, challenges that. A lot of、uh, mangaka、uh, face in Japan,、um, in particular with the amount of work that they do.、Um, can you talk a little bit, or, you know, and, and you can opt out of it if you, if you would like, but, you know, how do you do、uh, work life balance? Since I know Kazoku or family is very important to you, how do you balance, you know, your,、uh, your work and your special family time? Yeah. カズオさんあのこれはそのあの世界中にいるクリエイターとか漫画家の人に向けての質問でもあるんですけれどワークライフバランスっていうのはどうなってるんですかねそのあのアイビンさんが思ってるにはすごくたくさんの仕事があると思うんですけどあのカズオさんの家族との時間と漫画の時間漫画に費やす時間どのようにバランスをと取られてますかえっ、ー、とですねえーえー、僕の場合ですよ、これは、ね。あくまで僕の場合なんですが、もう生活はむちゃくちゃです。<笑>えっとですね、えー、もう常に24時間漫画のことを考えていてですね、えー、一日中座りっぱなしです。それで気分を変えるために、まあ、朝はですね、そのファミレスに行って、えー、コーヒー飲みながらそこで仕事をしたりですね。帰ってきてもまたすぐ仕事です。ずっと24時間、えー、漫画のことを考えているので、家族がね、理解してくれないとこれは難しいですね。なので、ももうあの僕も結婚したときに、そういうことを理解してくれる、えー、奥さんじゃないといけないので、まずね、彼女もすごくオタクです。えー、ゲームが大好きで、漫画が大好きで、もう理解力ある人です。で、生まれてきた娘もですね、もう漫画もゲームも大好きで、もうみんなバラバラの生活をしています。Uh, let me clear that it is his case, but、um, his lifestyle, my lifestyle is quite insane. So, almost 24 hours he thinks about mangas. So,、um, he never rests. So, there is no work life balance, he believes.、Um, and regarding the family, he believes that he, you need, when he marries, he found 
a perfect wife who understands about his work and about his lifestyle. And also his wife herself is a little bit nerd. He, she really likes games and mangas. So he, she really understands his lifestyle, although he thinks about mangas almost 24 hours. And even his daughter as well, she likes mangas and she likes game. So she understands him very much so it is only his case like particularly his case but you need to find a family who understands his lifestyle so <laughs> there is no work-life balance to be honest なかなかですね、え、家族の時間っていうのをですね、作ることはないです。でももう自然にみんなが集まってですね、え、どっか行こうとかいうのはあるんですが例えばですね、土曜日、日曜日はもう家族のために時間を作ると。ということは僕の中ではないんですね。でも、そういうことない代わりにもう娘とか、え、妻はですね、自由にもう漫画も読んだり、自由にゲームをしています。もう僕はあ
Um, we're going to just go ahead and go into the um, the final um, question right here. This is our traditional question, the question that we ask everyone. This is the question, the biggest question, you know, um, that I would say, you know, I have the most fun with, and I think you'll have fun with too. Um, what is your end game? You know, what do you, um, in particular, when you look at your whole career, as a creative, what do you want to, when you look back on your career and say, this is, you know, the life of Kazuo Mayakawa, what is your end game? Okay. カズオさんジャズと だと思います。自分の体力が続く限りですね、できることだと思いますし、それをですね、みんなに教えることもできると思います。僕はね、目指すのはえ、ビジネス的え、自分のえ、最終的なものはですね、まあ、死ぬまで、え、書き続けるということ
あの和夫先生のその作品だとかどこで例えば和夫先生のクラスレッスンに応募したいとかどうやったらもう和夫先生にたどり着けますかなんかこうウェブサイトとか、はい、なんかいろいろあったら教えてください、うん、そうですね今はですねフェイスブックでアロハマンガオンラインというですねグループを作ってみんなを集めています OK so there is Facebook page Called Aloha Manga Online, so everyone can find every everyone can find him, Kazuo Sensei, through Facebook page Aloha Manga Online. Okay, so. これはですね、えー、まだあのフリーで、えー、いろいろ教えていますが、これからはですね、ちょっとあのやっぱりレッスン料というのを取りながらですね、本格的にやっていくことを思っています。Okay, so right now it is free, but、um, from now on he is thinking to expand and、um, to produce some lessons, which is gonna,、uh, yeah, not, not free, but the lessons also. Okay. This is not free, but the lessons also. Okay. This is not free, but the lessons also. Okay. This is not free, but the lessons also. Okay. This is not free, but the lessons also. Okay, so and also、uh, through Aloha Mag Online,、uh, not only the lessons, he is thinking to、uh, introduce some of the publishing c o m p a n y in Japan. Also, he, he wants to help、uh, future comic writers to, to make debut. Oh, nice. So, in the last year, I was a manga of the project of the project of the project. その子がですね、今年の3月に、えー、漫画の、日本の漫画の賞を取ることができて、デビューではないんですが、賞、えー、を取ることができました。Okay. And last year he、uh, set the project, he established a project, and one of the American girls、uh, participated his project, and this March, She,、uh, that American girl actually won a w a r d in Japan. She, she, she didn't、うん、make a debut, but she won a w a r d Oh, wow. This is the first time I've ever seen this. 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 いるだけあと、まあ、テキストブックもあったりするんですが、そこからの発展性っていうのはないので、えー、僕が、えー、いろいろアドバイスして、えー、出版社に投稿したり、漫画家に、えー、近づけたりということをできるので、僕しかできない特別なことです。Okay, so this is something that he can only do because、uh, you can learn from some lessons through YouTube, you can also buy some textbooks through online and stuff. And but、um, Kazuo is actually the one who helped people,、um, which leads to success. So he can introduce a publishing company, he, he can help and support、uh, future comic writers to, su- su- to be successful. So that, that's something only he can do. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, I believe him. <laughs> <laughs> Know, 今ですね、この、えー、漫画のレッスンをですね、今、準備をしていますので、まもなくこれが公開してですね、えー、みんなにレッスンを受けてもらいたいと思っています。Okay, so right now he's preparing for the lesson, so please stay tuned. Absolutely, we'll make sure to promote as well. So, when as you get ready, you know, we're still in contact. You can send us information so that way we can also promote his stuff so we can actually bridge that gap so more creators can create together.、Mm-hmm. You know. okay. <笑>そうですね、あの、和夫さん、あの、ぜひ、そのレッスンとかがきちんと、あの、なりましたら、ぜひ教えてくださいということで、そのみみこのアルヴィンさんとかみんなで、あの、プロモーションもしていきたいと思ってますということです。はい、お願いします。<笑> Please do so. Thank you so much. <笑> Absolutely. Of course. So, very quickly, I also want to say、um, this as well for those, like, actually, or actually, I want to ask this.、Um, With these courses, if let's say someone, you know, I'm a person who's watching this right now and I'm like, hey, I want to do this, but I'm looking for some personal one on one time. You know, I want someone to actually look at my 
my uh, art and tell me if it's good or bad and give me actual feedback. You know, um, good question. is that something that is, it, are the courses private or are they more of like a larger class? Mm. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
Beyonce all over social media. Make sure you join his classes. You go to his classes. You know, you come Absolutely. to them. You know, you're ready to learn. Don't play around. Don't jump in these classes and not take them seriously. Make sure you take these classes seriously because Mayakawa Sensei's time is very precious. So any of you guys out there in OEO who just want to be fans, yeah, I'm calling you guys out there and you just want to make stuff, you come in there and be ready to learn and with an open mind because you're going to learn a whole lot from Mayakawa Sensei. So Absolutely. with that being said, um, Shay, do you have anything else to say? No, I mean, I just appreciate the time. Sorry for the te technical difficulties about five minutes ago, but I just wanted to say I appreciate every time we speak with you. Um, very informative, very down to earth, makes me feel very comfortable. So um, it makes me more eager to learn and create. So I just want to say thank you. Okay. All right. With that being said, Shining Otaku, we will see you guys later. All righty.